guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doll. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm super excited. I'm here with um, one of my latest uh, digital, um, you know, offerings in my Etsy shop. And I'm, I'm kind of excited about this because I don't think I've really seen anything um, similar to this. So it's hopefully going to be something that's very versatile and can be used in your kind of art journaling or your junk journaling or, you know, cards, mini albums, all sorts of different things. Um, so what it basically is, is it's my large images kit. Now I'm going to do, um, you know, to start with, we'll see how we get on. Obviously, if it proves popular, I will kind of introduce some other themes maybe. Um, so far, as I'm doing this video, I have just done the vintage images. Now I'm also working on a botanical images and hopefully by the time that this video goes up, I will have completed um, that as well. And that will also be in my shop. It will either be botanical or nature, depending on kind of, um, yeah, where I go with that. I may do a nature one separately, um, or I might combine the two. I'm not quite sure. But basically, what you get is 10 vintage images, or in, in the other one, it would be botanical or nature. Um, but let's just focus on this one. So 10 vintage images in large size. Now, I have laminated these, um, single side laminated, so I'm going to kind of just kind of skirt over those so that we're not kind of focusing on those. Now, what you get is 10 different images, so 10 kind of large images. So we've got this one, which I don't know really what this is, whether it would be called a crest, maybe a crest. Um, and what you're going to get is for every image, you're going to get the image on a background page. And for one or two, there's more than one background page, if you see what I mean. Um, just because, yeah, I was struggling to kind of then decide which background page I like the best. Um, so for some, you might have more than one background page. For others, you will just have the one background page. And then you will have a plain version of the image. So I'm just going to quickly show you. Like this one, you've got then a plain version and you've got the, the background version. And obviously, as the name suggests of the kit, this is large images. I know that lots of people do kind of tiny images and tiny things and things like that. Obviously, I'm a fan of big things and I struggle to do tiny. So I thought it would be really fun to do some gigantic um, images. So we're going to have a big play around with these. Um, you know, hopefully, maybe even in more than one video because I've got loads of things all going around in my mind that we can do with these. So um, yeah, we may do, may do more than one video. Um, but these are them. So you've got the hot air balloon. You've got this gorgeous um, portrait of this lady. Again, she's on a background and you've got a plane. So the background and the plane is for all of the images. You've got the clock there. You've got obviously a, a plain sort of stamped version. And for some of them, you've also got a stamped, you know, what I would describe as a stamped version. So the clock is one of those. Then you've got this one, which is um, the word journal. Now it's mirrored, if you can see. So you've got it backwards as well. I know that sounds a little bit crazy. The reason I included that was especially for art journaling. I think often people like to have things like this going on where they've got kind of a mirrored effect. So I thought that would be kind of fun to actually include. So you've got that and you've got it again on a background. You've got a plain in brown. You've got a plain in like stamped basically. So you could obviously colour these in or, you know, do some effects on these, you know, have you like. You've got green on a background and then you've got the brown on a brown background. You've then got this gorgeous vintage typewriter. I mean, what a beautiful background that's on. You've got this vintage lady, again, just on a vintage background. We've got her on a florally black background. So, I mean, some of these, I just included the two, the two backgrounds because, to be honest, I struggled to kind of pick a favourite. So, I thought, well, let's just put them all in. Um, and then you've got her, again, on a plain background. And, you know, the plain ones, obviously, I'm thinking you could kind of fussy cut them out and have them as a massive, large image. So, then you've got the boots. And again, you've got them on a plane and you've got the building. And again, obviously, you've got them on a plane. And then you've got this big cigarette card. Again, you've got a plain version of this as well. So, yes, we have got a lot of um, yummy kind of things to play with here. So what I have done in the first instance, obviously, these, a lot of them, are they're just printed very roughly on um, copy paper. And then what I've done, I have laminated some. 
and I will show you what I'm planning on doing with those in a moment. And I've also, oops, I can pull them in, vellum printed some. So unfortunately, I think my ink was beginning to run out on this one because it's much paler on this side than it was on this side. But yep, we've got some vellum printed, which how gorgeous are those? Oops, a little plain, plain piece of vellum has made its way in there and a transparency vellum for this one and vellum for this typewriter. So, yeah, let's get on and kind of see some of the fun things that I thought that we could do by using these large images. So, the first thing that I think I'm going to do, now, I have got a video um, showing how to do the single-sided laminate. Again, I'm not sure whether that video is actually up yet. So, in its absence, um, you know, just to say it will be coming up, but in the meantime, I'm just going to kind of cut these out now what you have to do when you've done the single sided laminate is you cut around and that's how you obviously separate your your pieces and so what this obviously gives you is a non sheeny side which obviously is going to be easy for gluing down so yep this is one of my new favorite things to do I have to say not my idea I stumbled across it on YouTube I couldn't even tell you who I saw do it I'm afraid it wasn't somebody you know I, I don't think it was somebody from in our junk journal community it was somebody I'd never kind of seen before um but yeah just thought what a genius idea so let's take this lady for instance so she's obviously got this lovely sheeny image which is going to be really nice to to work with now let's just cut her out and as you know if you watch my channel oh cutting ovals and circles yeah not my favorite thing at all so um yep just winging a prayer type stuff here hoping for the best okay like that okay so it didn't make too bad a job of that. Right, now what we could do with her is we could obviously take her to the sewing machine and stitch some bits around her. So let me just grab my lace, which I thought I had here. Oh, come on. No, no, I can't see my lace. Hold on a second. Oh, it's never good, is it? When at the very beginning of the video, you discover you've not brought along some of the things that you were intending on bringing along this is not going to be it's not going to really be quite right is it uh okay let's just have a look yeah that's just not not really the thing that i was hoping for so right i'm going to have to have to flip the camera off straight away even at the very beginning and go and get some lace hold on okay sorry about that i am back now with my lace so yeah what i like to do is tear my lace off of the header so I'm just going to get all of that off hold on a second oops okie dokie right so yeah I'm going to just tear the header piece off now I don't mind doing this along the entire length of the lace that I've got left because to be honest I very rarely very rarely use it with the header attached and when I say the header I mean you know that kind of like finished off edge which you know I just I, yeah I'm just not that keen on that that finished off edge to be honest I prefer it a little bit more rustic so oops I can't really see whether this is up the right way or the wrong way now I was thinking kind of take this to my sewing machine and stitch this around here now I have to say I'm now looking at this and thinking oh how did I think I'm going to do that so I'm actually thinking because my sewing is not great I think I will probably be better stapling this or what I could do is maybe staple it and then stitch it so I'm just going to take my stapler oops and just staple on around the edge so yeah and then obviously I can take it to my sewing machine and the lace is already kind of like vaguely held somewhere somewhere where it should be so yeah she says 
and I thought this would look absolutely awesome either as you know a topper oops doing an appalling job here oh my goodness it's really dark I can only apologize so much for the um dim light in here yet again it's a really 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 dismal day and um you know I mean I'm only it's only the morning it's like quarter past 10 or something and yeah it's really 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 dismal out there so I really can't um odds the the lighting I'm afraid now I could put my lamp on sometimes I find that the lamp actually kind of makes the vision even worse but let me try it hold on a second because I'm aware that you know I feel it's very very dark here so hold on oops let's have a look well, let's go with the lamp. I mean, often I find the lamp a little bit intrusive because it creates a lot of shadows and things like that. But let's just see how we get on because I'm aware that it is very, very dark. Yeah, I'm thinking it's going to chuck it down with rain again in the middle in a minute. It's been raining on and off so far this morning. So, yeah, pretty sure it's going to be raining again pretty soon. Okay. Just go for that. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I actually don't mind this with the staples. I know staples aren't really everybody's thing. Um, personally, I don't mind staples. I think, you know, I think they're quite nice. And actually, in this particular instance, I wouldn't even really say they're showing up. You know, I don't even think you can see them. Certainly, I can't see them. <laughs> that doesn't mean to say they can't be seen, obviously. Just, I can't see them. So, um, yeah. But, hey, you may very well be able to see them. So, yeah, let's just pop that like that. Come on, come on. Yeah, I'm very excited about these. I have been wanting to do something very similar to this for such a long time. And I just don't know why it's really taken me so long to actually get this, you know, up and running. Um, it took quite a long time to kind of find the right images and things like that. So, um, yeah, I just, I've no idea why it's taken me so long, to be honest, to get on with this, but I'm very excited to have finally done it because, um, you know, for ages now, you know, when you've got an idea kind of buzzing around in your mind and you keep kind of thinking, oh, I could do this. Oh, I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. And, um, yeah, I couldn't quite rid myself of, um, you know, wanting to do this and have a play with something like this. So I'm very, very excited by this kit. I think it's going to be something that's quite fun um, to use for a whole variety of things. And like I say, I actually think it's going to be quite good for art journaling, junk journaling and all sorts of different things as well. So, yeah, I really hope that you share my, share my excitement and, um, yeah, feel excited like I do about this so right now I have got these butterfly trims I can't remember I have received some of these in happy mail which you know is awesome because I really love these I think I maybe got mine from the wish app um, is where I'm thinking mine came from oh my goodness how yummy does that look Oh, I absolutely love how that looks. Right, let me just put this away again. Hold on. My little box of flower trims. Hang on, sorry. Oh. Sorry, struggling to put that away. Um, now, this does have obviously this pearl, and I was thinking I could kind of stitch this just onto here. Again, I'm going to probably struggle because it's got that pearl on there. So I'm just going to staple it, I think. Oops. Ah. Oh, come on. Every time I go to staple it, my stapler kind of like brings that wing. Oh, get, gets caught under that wing. Right, let's try. Okay. Yeah, and then I could probably staple it there. I mean, I guess I could take that pearl off particularly if this is going to be in a journal rather than on a topper or as a as a topper um i'm thinking i could kind of take the pearl off and then you know it's not quite so essential is it oh i don't know now 
Right, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine. Oh, wish me luck, everyone. I feel very nervous. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine. So it went okay. I mean, obviously, I am not the best sewer in the world. I'm pretty rubbish with my sewing machine. So you can probably see I've gone very, very, very wonky all over the place um, with my sewing. Personally, I don't mind that. I think it's kind of, you know, kind of charming. Luckily, because I couldn't go straight even if I wanted to. Um, so yeah, as luck has it, I think that's quite nice. Now, what you could do is then finish it off with, say, some pearly trim. Obviously, this is probably for if it's going to be... Um, you know a topper rather than a um you know piece inside the journal because obviously i'm kind of adding lots of layers and bulk to this now i'm just wondering what glue to use to glue this in place i'm thinking maybe oh actually i'm thinking maybe fabric tech yeah right let me just grab my fabric pack now honestly it's really tricky isn't it you know when you've kind of got um something different that you're trying out and then you know figuring out what glue to use it can be yeah a slight you know slightly tricky so right i've got my fabric tack so let's go round here oh my goodness i hope this works because i feel nervous because it looks really pretty at the moment let me put my glasses on oh it might help Right, so I'm just going to put my fabric tack around here, just approximately where the stitch line is. I mean, actually, in which case, you know, I'm covering up the stitch in any way, which, you know, then begs the question, I might as well have just left it with the staples. Um, yeah, I hadn't really thought of that, to be honest, but to be fair, I hadn't really thought of putting the pearly trim on until when I was over at my sewing machine and this pearly trim is just hung on the wall. And I spotted it and thought, oh, that would look good on these. Right. Oh, dear. This is like my worst nightmare doing things like this. Because, of course, it's very fiddly. Very messy, because that glue is, uh, yeah, quite, quite messy. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, and kind of precision. Precision is sort of involved here. So it's one of them types of jobs where, you know, by the end of this, I'm just going to be covered in glue. And then it's just fingers crossed. Whoops, fingers crossed that the the pearl trim's actually going to have got glued down somewhere along the line as well. Not just me being covered in glue. Okay. So let's just this down here yeah I've got a lot of different ideas to do with um, you know these large images so I mean hopefully we're gonna have a lot of fun I'm thinking you know it may take a few days to get through all the ideas I've got but who knows maybe I haven't got as many ideas as I thought but you know I'd love to know what you think to these um, large images. You know, do you like them? I mean, are you a large or a small, a small kind of person? You know, do you like your images kind of larger or smaller? I mean, I just really struggle with fiddly, as you can as you can probably see. Um, yeah, so I thought, well, actually, I'm going to have a lot of fun, you know, using some really massive, oops, massive pieces. Um, you know, and I think we've got endless things Oops, that we can then do with them. So let's just, oh gosh, sorry, it's just stuck on me. Uh, yeah, let's just put that down like that. Okay, I might be able to just tuck that behind that wing. Okay, right, just hoping that this is all actually stuck down. So I'm just going to go around, just press it in a couple of places where it maybe kind of isn't quite stuck. There we go. How gorgeous does that look? So obviously I have got these threads. Like I say, they're not really, you know, they're not really a problem, I think. They, they don't really bother me. Okay. Now I've also got obviously some other flowers and things like that. So I don't know whether I want to... Oh, yeah. 
thinking, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to add more, but wow. As always, it's a case of more is more. You know, I add the more and straight away it's like, oh, yep, love that. So I'm going to obviously muck up my, my pearly trim here because, of course, that's probably not glued down and I'm going to, yep, staple that over. Okay, and I'm just going to add a little bit of Fabri-Tac there behind that just so that it's properly stuck down. Now, what's happened is actually quite handy because obviously that pearly trim has kind of caused that flower to be quite 3D-ish. So I love that. You know, I think that's really, really pretty. Um, completely by accident. But yeah, how gorgeous does that look? Sorry for um, jogging the desk there. Now I'm just going to bring in another flower and just see. So we could add like a blue or something. I don't know. Quite liking it quite colourless at the moment. Um, because obviously what you could do is when you actually come to use it, you could then put a flower on or, you know, a, a centre or something in one of the flowers that would really kind of like make it stand out, you know, from how it is. I love that though. So actually ignore what I've said yet again. And yeah, I'm just going to pop that one straight down like that. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does this look? I love how this is turning out. It's so pretty. Yeah, really, really, really love it. Okay, so yeah, that's that piece. So obviously I'm thinking kind of topper here. And, you know, of course this is just my kind of, you know, my idea, but... You know, you could use it however you like, but say that was a topper on a journal on the cover. How gorgeous is that? Just looks stunning, doesn't it? I mean, like I say, I've made a pretty rubbish job of putting the, um, you know, the pearly trim on and things. But to be honest, it still looks lovely. You know, you don't even need to make a good job. It still looks lovely, doesn't it? So that's idea number one. Now, obviously, I've got my staples around the edge here. Again, that doesn't bother me because this would be glued on as a topper. So I'm not that worried. But if obviously that bothered you, you could always now pick the staples out because of course that fabric's now stitched around. So it's held on, you know, pretty well anyway. But the beauty of the one side laminate is of course, this could now just all be glued. It's just paper on this side. So it's going to glue down really nicely. And then that would be just glued on place on the journal. Isn't that just yummy and scrumptious? So that was the first large item. Oh, I'm really loving how that turned out. And now I feel slightly nervous, actually, that the other things are not going to turn out quite so quite so good. Um, yeah, because that just went so nice. Or so nicely, so I should say. Right, okay. So let's pull this one in. Now, this one, again, this is just, you know, this is just the one that I just happened to pull in the next one. So obviously I printed this onto vellum, which I thought was rather nice. And literally I thought we could just like fold this over. Oops. Like that. And just have this as a giant sort of pocket. So I would just literally stitch around, you know, or maybe not even on this bottom edge, but maybe just on these two sides. And I would just stitch that around and have that as a sort of floating pocket. Now, what I will do is run some lace along the edge, I think. So let me just pull in some suitable lace. So I was using some lace yesterday that would be ideal. And of course, now I can't see it. Oh, it was quite delicate. And um, yeah, it would have been just perfect for this. But no, of course I can't now see it anywhere. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, would you believe it? It's just, again, that same old thing, isn't it? You know, as soon as you're looking for something, it's it's gone. And, you know, as soon as I stop looking for it, of course it's going to then appear, isn't it? Oh, here it is. Hold on. It has appeared already. Right. So, yeah, I mean, I'm just thinking kind of edge the, the edge there with some lace and then again kind of decorate this up now I will probably cut this down slightly 
so that it fits in the journal better. So what I might do is just dab a little bit of glue just along these sides to kind of hold it together when I get to the sewing machine. Actually, no, I don't want... Uh, yeah, I can do that. So I'm just going to now cut this edge here. Like that. Okay. Like that. And then here... In fact, I'm not even going to um, stitch that lace. I'm just going to glue it. So let me just take my piece to the sewing machine and I'll be back in a moment. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back from the sewing machine. Now, bearing in mind that this is the one that my printer was just running out of ink on this side. So this side is better sort of colour um, than the other side. So, which is a shame, but, um, you know, you won't really notice once it's kind of in use so i'm just going to ink it up slightly just on probably just this side because where the ink was kind of running low so yeah let's just kind of like ink it like that okay that side's looking okay anyway and then let's just again decorate this up so i'm just going to use some some lace i'm going to do this side because obviously i'm happier with the the printing on this side so but i mean obviously i'm going to have this as like a floating pocket slash pouch so of course you could use either you know you could decorate up either side probably we'll decorate both sides let's just put that like that oops okay like that. Okay, let me just trim that down. Oh, that looks so lovely, doesn't it? And then again, I've got those gorgeous flowers, or actually I've got these little flower trims, which are rather nice. Got these ones from eBay. Um, but weirdly enough, I think I've got, I don't know whether I've got a top or I've got a dress or something with some of these on it just looks horribly familiar you know where you kind of think oh i've, I've got some item item of clothing with this um on it yeah i can't think now what it <laughs> what it actually is what item of clothing it actually is but i'm feeling i've got some sort of item of clothing with this so yeah i mean how gorgeous is that just looks beautiful doesn't it and, you know, I mean, again, there's nothing to this. It just literally, you know, the image is just kind of like shouting out and just, yeah, just speaking for itself. And, you know, just looks lovely, doesn't it? So, again, let's just turn it over. So, doing something on the other side. I mean, I could do something different, I guess, on this side. We don't have to kind of have it the same. Um and see what bits I've got here. Hmm. I've got bright bows. They are not going to work, are they? No. Right. Again, I pulled out a whole bunch of stuff to use. And, you know, as is so often the case, I've pulled out all these things, but nothing now is going to be quite right. It's just typical, isn't it? I've got that butterfly note. That's, that's definitely not right. Got this lace here. So we could could have some lace here. I uh, don't necessarily want it going around the back. Uh, it's okay going around the back. What do we think? It is a bit, a bit on the long side. Let me just, let me just bring in oops, the lace that I used originally. So hold on. Again, I didn't quite finish tearing that header off. So let me just finished here and that's it. Okay. Oh. Just doing it till it finishes, basically. Right, there we go. So, yeah, let's have this one on this side. So, again, let's just go in with the fabric tack. Like that. Just press that 
down with my wipe. Okay, trim that down there. Yeah, and then fold that over, I think. So I was just debating, do I cut that off or do I have it? But actually I'm going to have it because it does look pretty, doesn't it? So yeah, let's just go for that here. Oh, how scrumptious does this look? Love how that looks so much. I'm sure I've probably dabbed glue all over this now. Hopefully not too too much or not too apparent anyway um and then again i can just finish that off with let's just try another one of these for a minute oops just trim off those little bits okay i'm just gonna have that one down there Oops, you're using the wrong glue. Shouldn't have so many glues scattered around because now I'm just picking up all sorts of different glue, left, right and centre, so. Okay. There we go. I mean, how scrumptious does this look? I just absolutely love it. And then, of course, what we can do is finish it off with a coordinating tag to put inside so I'm just pulling in my laminated pieces again and of course I've got my laminated cigarette card piece so let's just again these are those single side laminated so I just need to cut it out from the you know from the laminate if you see what I mean so as it separates I love the feel of laminated things. Always have done. <laughs> Don't know what that's about, but yeah. Always think the feel of laminated stuff is just really cool. Now, this one, unfortunately, my laminating pouch just went kind of slightly, you know, rubbish when it went through the laminator, but it's fine. I'm just going to use that one anyway. Um, just to kind of, yeah, not waste it because, you know, there's no need to waste it, really. It's not the end of the world. So, again, just... Cutting that out. Like that, okay. Hopefully that will fit inside my pouch. Should probably check before I kind of gung-ho go thinking it's fitting. Yep, okay. Ooh, it's a little bit tight actually. It's a little bit tight, so I might have to just trim it slightly at the bottom. Just where my stitching has obviously gone, you know, um, in more than I had obviously expected. Or more than I more than I should have. Okay, so I've got that. Now, obviously on the back, like I say, that's just obviously paper. So we could obviously just use that, um, you know, and coffee dye that. But I'm not going to. So I'm just going to take some coffee dyed card that I have got here Let's take that. so I'm going to have to go across the fold that's fine not a problem so let's just quickly glue this one down onto here Oops. oh honestly I'm just switching glues switching glues every five seconds and actually do you know what I've only just that second thought of this but actually I could have just done this as a pocket to be honest and needn't have even glued it the entire way round. I will do now because I've put the glue on but yeah what I could have done was actually had this um you know as a pocket which how cool would that have been because we would have had a pocket inside a pocket which how cool is that Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have so much fun with these large images. So, um, yeah, I really hope that you like them and um, really, yeah, just really hope that you, you know, if you buy any of them, 
that you really enjoy them just you know as much as I do and I'd love to hear some of the ideas that you have got because you know of course my ideas are not an exhaustive um, list I'm sure so uh, yeah I'd love to hear some of the cool ideas that some of you ladies have because you know I'm always saying this but honestly you guys have such brilliant ideas that you know I'm sure there'll be tons of ideas that I think oh never in a million years thought of that so yeah I would love to um love to hear what what things that you guys have uh, got in mind for these right now I was thinking we could just have a kind of doily just like stitched stitched on there I'm not sure now whether that's a little bit on the big side so I'm now thinking let's just cut this down like that <gasps> I love how that looks that is gorgeous right okay so I'm just going to glue this down again just using my Fabri-Tac here and then you know like I say I'm actually going to be taking this across to the sewing machine anyway so hopefully you know reinforcing that that doily on there. Thank you, Jake. Like that. Oh, I love how that looks. It's really looking gorgeous, isn't it? And then here, I would quite like something here. Um, I was thinking a book plate, and I just saw them yesterday. And do you know what? I've got no idea now where I saw them. No. Um, what does that say? No. Oh, it's so annoying, isn't it, when you just can't find things. And of course, you don't know, that happens frequently on my desk when I can't find things. So, uh, yeah, very annoying. Let me just have a quick rummage here because, um, yeah, I think a book plate would just finish this off so nicely. It kind of just feels a bit to me like it's screaming book plate come on come on, come on well of course I can't find them anywhere so yeah that's pretty annoying pretty annoying right let me just double check so sorry for my arm that's just now constantly just here across the screen I know not very not very fun to be watching my arm, I'm sure, but oh, got my frames. And I could put, oh, let's just try this little frame, hold on. So, I mean, this is not what I had in mind here at all, but just gonna see if this would look cool or not. It probably will look awful. And bearing in mind that obviously I'm making this to go into that pocket. So it may just be that, you know, it would look okay, but actually it has, no place when it's going into that pocket so let's just try it oh my goodness I've done like the world's worst cutting here I mean I know I always say ovals you know hate cutting ovals but my gosh that one was like a whole new level of bad a whole new level oh, that's just a bit too big I mean I could have it there and actually cut it off could do that. Let me just see how this would look. Let's just kind of gauge how that would look. Yeah, I could have it there. What do we think? Oh, do you know, should we just do that? Because otherwise I feel like, gosh, I'm going to be here all day. So, yeah, let's put this one down on the side. Like that. Okay. Like that, I'm just going to trim this down here. Like that, okay. And I'm just going to now take this across to the sewing machine and stitch around the whole thing. So I'll be back in a minute, hold on. Okay, I'm back from the sewing machine. So you can see now, obviously I've just stitched around. It's just got that black thread, so looking scrumptious. And I just love 
the big size of it. It's just gorgeous. And while I was at the sewing machine, I just stumbled across this little label. So this is just one of my labels from my shop. And yeah, I just thought, oh, colour wise, this is just going to look very good on there. So yeah, I'm just going to glue this down here again over the top of that frame. So we've got all the layered kind of elements there on the side. Oh, how scrummy does that look? And then the whole thing obviously can just pop into our floating pocket. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is that? I mean, obviously, like I say, I'm not too happy with the back because the back, the printer, you know, cartridge was running out. So yeah, not, not that thrilled with the back, um, but I absolutely love the front. I'm just going to kind of ink over this a little bit more, just see whether I can get rid of that purpley shade, you know, cause it always goes purple, doesn't it? When the ink's running low on the printer, it always ends up going purple. It's so, um, you know, weird looking colour, isn't it? Oh, well, right. So I'm going to have it on, yeah, on this side. So that just obviously tucks into that pocket. Oh, I love how that is. That's just scrummy. And obviously you could just paper clip this into your journal. So, you know, that's another idea for these massive, massive images. Um, right, let's see what else we've got. I hope we've still got time. Okay, so here I've got one of these buildings. So again, let's just take the building down. Okay, so this one, obviously, I'm just going to cut this out. And again, you know, like I always say, it, unless you're cutting out a circle or an oval, which is, you know, of course, why I struggle cutting them out, you really don't have to be too precise because nobody really knows kind of, you know, how this building was in the first place. So, you know, this for me is far easier to cut out because I can just kind of like wing it a little bit and it looks good. Whereas a circle or an oval, of course, if you try and wing that and you muck it up, that's not going to look good at all, is it? So, you know, it's always going to be a bit easier, isn't it? Now, obviously I have got the exact same images on the background page. So, I mean, we could use the background page and then just put the, lam the laminated one over the top. So we have a sort of decoupage type thing going on. Um, do we want to do that? Or shall we just use this in its entirety? Let's just maybe use this in its entirety. So let me just pull in an envelope. Okay, so I've got one of my tall tall envelopes because of course this is a tall tall piece okay let's just glue my envelope shut like that I mean so far I've used kind of mainly the laminated ones um, so yeah, I will definitely come back and we'll do some other things, you know, not laminated. Um, because yeah, like I say, I've got quite a few kind of ideas running around in my mind that we could do with these. So, um, it's not all going to be laminated stuff. So it just happens it is today. I'm obviously really loving the laminate today. <laughs> like I say, I always have a thing about laminated things. They just feel so good, don't they? Love the feel of the laminated stuff. So yeah, we can have that on there. And I mean, to be honest, we could have that on there as a pocket on the envelope. So obviously we've got a top pocket here on that envelope and then we could glue this down. So as we've got a side pocket, I think would be quite nice, wouldn't it? So I'm just going to put some um, background page. Let's just see what, what background page I've got here. I've got some of my collage, collage page. Um, oh, okay. That's going to be quite nice, I think. So, just tear that down. So, I hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you're doing some crafting, having a nice time. Hope the weather's better where you are. I don't know, honestly, what's going on with the weather today. It is just wow. I hate those. Um, just. <laughs> horrible grey rainy days they're just oof, horrible aren't they right okay so yeah I'm quite liking that now do we want anything else in the way of you know background page don't know do we 
I'm just pulling. I'm just again just glancing around my desk, kind of thinking, oh, have I got anything else that I could just just pull in? Um, yeah, I know that's like really weird, but <laughs> it was just laying there from just now. So I thought, oh, well, let's just give this um, doily a try. I mean, yeah, I do always like a bit of doily, to be honest. I mean, we could even have the doily kind of over, like we did on the cigarette card. I'm not quite sure that that's, you know, quite the thing, to be honest. So let's just glue this paper down before I change my mind on that, because otherwise I'm just going to be here all day just deliberating. Yeah, what is it about laminated things? They just feel lovely, don't they? I can remember um, at work, you know, when I worked and um, <laughs> I mean, obviously we were in the, you know, the office doing the admin. And of course we had a laminator and, um, you know, from time to time we'd have to laminate things. I have to say, not as often as I would have liked. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird, but yeah, laminating. We all really enjoyed laminating stuff and we all obviously really liked the feel of it. So if anyone did bring in any laminating, we'd all be like, oh, I'll do that, I'll do that. And we were all kind of like fighting over who was going to do the laminating, um, which is just really weird, isn't it? But yeah, I think kind of that whole, you know, the, the feel of the laminated things, it must be quite a common thing because um, <laughs> like I say, we all quite liked it. So, yeah, weird, but, you know, weird, but obviously I'm not alone with my liking for laminated stuff. So, um, yeah, strange. Okay. Do I want any paper up in that corner? Just going to quickly tear this down quickly. I don't know what it is about the laminated things that I really like, but it does just feel really lovely. Don't know why, but yeah, something just really is very yummy. Very yummy about laminated stuff, isn't there? So, yeah. I'm just collaging with a collage sheet here, so um, weird. Okay, there we go. I don't know whether I said already, um, I'm so sorry, I've lost track of what I've said because I've stopped the video lots of times to go to the um, sewing machine. But yeah, my son is home from school today. He keeps on having to have the day off, you know, from being ill. And, um, you know, I mean, actually, he's not generally, well, he's not generally someone who's ill that often. And he's also not home from school very often. So it's really unusual for him. Um, but yeah, he keeps on having to kind of have the day off either because they've sent him home you know because obviously since the covid you know it's very um sort of strict you know like if anybody's got the slightest thing that's it they're not allowed in school um you know so i mean he was sent home with a temperature my daughter had been sent home with a cough one day you know things that normally as a mum you'd just kind of send them to school and not just as a mum, I mean, actually, you know, they feel fine and they want to go to school because, you know, I'm not the most <laughs> exciting person probably to be at home, you know. Um, <laughs> it's not like I'm, yeah, doing loads of fun things. Um, so, yeah, they would prefer to go to school. But obviously, since COVID, they kind of, you know, they won't allow them to go to school with even the slightest thing. So it feels a bit like I've constantly got somebody home. Um yeah, but I mean, I can hear him now up and about, so he's only just woken up. But I mean, he's, you know, he's fine. Um, I think he maybe has got tonsillitis actually at the moment because um, he did have a very sore throat, which I know is obviously one of the COVID symptoms, but he's done lots of tests now. He's done a test like every day for about four days now. Um, so he's definitely not got COVID, thankfully. Um, but yeah, thinking maybe he's got tonsillitis. So um because his throat looks a little bit, you know, um, well, yeah, a bit ulcerated. And as well, he's got swollen glands. So I guess that's a sign, isn't it, of um, tonsillitis. So, yeah, so he's got the day off again. Oh, how pretty is that? Love how that looks. Now, just kind of like folding my 
envelope slightly because um, until that's stuck down, it kind of has a tendency to go a little bit curly. I'm just going to ink up around the edges. Like that, okay. Right, there we go. And yep. Loving how that looks. And then, yeah, I think that flower there looks lovely with that one. Oh, I so wish that I could think where my bit plates are. This is just driving me nutty because um, this is yet another thing that they would actually look really good on. Let me just double check in my, in my little container beside me. Because literally, I saw them yesterday and I thought, oh, they're all in there. And of course, I thought, oh, they're all in there. And then I've promptly forgotten where there was. So, yep. I'm now back with not a clue where I actually saw them. Well, they're definitely not, not in there. Very, very, very annoying. Right, okay. So, yeah, this looks pretty, doesn't it? Uh, do we want some lace? Of course we want some lace. And what did we think to that doily? I know it's like a little bit weird, but what if we had just a smaller, smaller portion? Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I'm thinking that looks very pretty. So again, that doily's just got a little bit scrumpled, but you know, not too, not too bad. So yeah, I'm just going to stick that. Oops that down here along the edge okay like that okay oh scrummy 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 right let's just cut that out we'll cut that cut that down even yeah, loving how that looks. And yeah, let's just see. I mean, I was putting the flower at the bottom, but to be honest, it looks pretty nice at the side, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I'm going to have that at the side. So let's just pop that down there. And let's just have this on there on the center. So just layering up the flowers, um, you know, with this kind of flower trim with this paper flower all looks good doesn't it so yeah they kind of they layer up really nicely I really like um you know combining kind of different flower types because it just can add a bit of interest to your flowers and um yeah they look then really really nice don't they right let's see if I've got any kind of center that would look good I mean, I'm really boring because I often just go for those um, flat back pearls and I probably will still here, but I just thought I'd call in, call in some of these. I'm just going to switch my lamp off because maybe it's distorting the light. Oh, gosh, now it's really dark, isn't it? I can't decide whether it's actually better with the light on or the light off. Please let me know um, below whether you like it better with the light on or the light off. Obviously, I'm just going to put a quick disclaimer out there. I apologise now because um, obviously I'm filming ahead, so it may be ages until I kind of, um, yeah, I guess pay attention would be the right word, but I'm not meaning that in an insulting way. I just mean, you know, I obviously I'm filming ahead and I'll be filming other films, you know, other, uh, other videos before I've read your feedback. So if you all say, oh no, we don't like the light on, and then I do a whole bunch with the light on or vice versa. It's not that I'm, oops, it's not that I'm ignoring you. It's just literally that I'm filming ahead. And so I haven't actually read your comment. You know, you, the video's not been up yet to even have a comment. So yeah, just want to kind of put that out there because I'd hate people to think that I was just ignoring them. Right, there we go. Just going to just see. I mean, we could have a butterfly. I mean, slightly weird because the butterfly is like as big as the building, but you know, hey, it could be just like one of those Marvel movies, couldn't it? Where you've got like the building and then like a massive giant butterfly. Okay, so that's probably going to be it for today. 
um like i say i do have a lot of other ideas for these large images so hopefully i'm going to be back soon um you know playing around and doing some more things with them like i say i think they're going to be absolutely awesome for doing some art journaling so hopefully i'm definitely going to come along and do some art journaly things with them because i think you know we could definitely have a lot of fun doing those types of things um but i really hope that you like them i mean definitely i can see a lot of uses for these and um yeah i really hope that you like them and as i say they hopefully well they are available in my shop now to coincide with the video and hopefully the the nature or botanical um or nature and botanical i haven't quite you know fathomed out how that one's going to be will hopefully be up there as well if not now very soon so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon thanks then bye